The internet is really a digital representation of our society. So it has good and bad. And one of the things is you'll find that people abuse online services in a horrific way. Uh, given that, we wanted to develop a technology that would help to remove those images from the internet in a way to combat the spread of those images. The child pornography problem worldwide and particularly in the United States has absolutely exploded with the advent of the internet. Uh, Twenty years ago we thought this problem was virtually gone. One little girl said to us after uh, her offender was successfully prosecuted, uh, when I found out that there are thousands of people out there on the internet who are looking at my pictures of me being violated, of me being raped and sexually assaulted, it, it made me feel like every one of those people is raping me all over again. We started work inside Microsoft on this when we recognized that there was a real problem uh, that needed to be solved in order to get these images off the internet. Um, traditionally, if people resized a photo or edited it in any way at all, uh, the digital blueprint or signature of that photo would be different. And it would be difficult or sometimes even impossible to find the nearly identical images in various places on different online services and the like. Since 2009, Microsoft has been working with Dr. Hani Farid of Dartmouth University and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children on photo DNA. The basic idea, is, if you think about this problem, is I laid down in front of you a couple of billion images uh, and I ask you, hand me the ones that are inappropriate. And you can sort of imagine the scope of that problem, how hard that is to solve. And so what, what we here at Dartmouth and, my, and Microsoft have been doing is developing technology that can pluck out those inappropriate images out of a sea of billions and billions of images um, and do this in a very fast, very reliable way. And so what PhotoDNA does is it extracts a signature of sorts from an image and then it looks for that signature. So it's very much like human DNA. We're proud to join Microsoft and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in using the PhotoDNA technology to help prevent child exploitation and the spread of harmful images online. Applying PhotoDNA technology to Facebook in partnership with Microsoft and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children gives us a huge opportunity to expand the technology and remove a vast number of child pornography pictures from the internet. Facebook's participation in this partnership also serves as a milestone that allows us to build and have other online service providers come on board and help combat this growing problem. Facebook will run PhotoDNA against all photos uploaded to the site to block the distribution of these images of criminal exploitation. The technology will also better enable us to report these incidents to the National Center and police to allow them to take immediate action. These companies will have that uh, digital DNA will have that algorithm so that they can search their systems, scrub their databases, make sure that they are not hosting uh, those images or are, dis are distributing uh, images through their system. The online distribution of child pornography is a horrendous victimization of the children that appear in those photos. We cannot allow that to go on when we have the technology to do something about it. Everyone at Facebook shares a deep commitment to ensuring the safety of the people who use our site. And we believe we have a great responsibility and privilege to provide a safe platform for the world to share and connect. I think that this project between Microsoft and Dartmouth is the single most important thing I will have done in my career. Um, I think it's, it's interesting from a technological point of view. I think it's important for society and I think it's going to have a huge impact as it starts to spread globally. There's still much more to do in the road ahead. There's other forms of child pornography and child sex trafficking that we need to stop. All of us, as a member of the digital society, need to speak up to drive demand for solutions to these problems.